think Nothing it is more live? raw than being with family. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are we live? It's saying it's, it's live. Saying it's live? It's it's saying it's live? Okay, we're just making sure. You guys are, normally you see like a little bit of an edited version of Shabbat in your home and tonight you're going to see the true chaos behind it. We have all the kids. Unedited. Raw, uncut. Yeah. Shalom, shalom. You want to welcome everyone, baby? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, we want to welcome you guys to our home, Shay and I's home. Uh, and thank you so much for tuning in for Shabbat in your home. Uh, we love doing Shabbat with you all. Thank you so much for doing with us. And we couldn't do a regular Shabbat in your home as with what's going on in Israel right now. We just didn't feel it was appropriate. We wanted to share with you kind of what we're, how we're speaking into what's going on over there and what the Bible has to say about it and what JD has to say about it. He's got lots to say. And so thank you so much. We love you guys. Um, we, I love all the testimonies. Thank you guys completely. Um, actually, I should say, keep sending them in because we yeah. loved seeing them. Um, you know, your dogs, your pets, and <laughs> the, the relatives, and your friends, and families. And we just love bringing the family together. That's what Shabbat is all about. So thank you for bringing your family with our family. Amen. Yeah, so I guess now we should just start with the sure. with the candles. Can you do it? Are you good with I it? Got it? Okay, I'm she's a, a pro. I'm so a if you can use this time to enter in, we're just going to welcome the presence of the Lord this Shabbat. Is it going to go out? Let's see. Let's see. No? Okay. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitshanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu lehi'ot or legoim v'natan lanu et Yeshua meshicheinu or haolam. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe. You have sanctified us with your word. You commanded us to be a light unto the nations and you gave us Yeshua our Messiah who is the light of the world. Amen. 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 Okay, you wine? Baruch atah Adonai, Elohim ha'chalam, b'rei pri agafen. Blessed thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit from the vine. We thank you, Father, for your Son, Yeshua's blood, that washes us and cleanses us from mm -hmm. all unrighteousness and gives us everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the, the covenant that we have that this wine represents. And we thank you, Father, for restoring our families, bringing us all together for this, this time of peace, this time of rest, restoration. Uh, in our bodies and in our finances in every way, Father. We thank you, Father. In Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Don't spill it on the couch. <laughs> That's what cleaning service is yeah. for. <clears throat> you gonna do the red challah. Chala for a chala. Yeah, it's nice that we've got Malky's chala. Locked. <laughs> Good stuff. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. <laughs> no, we are. We are not. So the good thing about actually being live is we can answer questions live if we are able to. But we are not in Israel. We are in the states, and Paul is actually traveling um, out of the country. Yeah. Yeah. So please pray for his safety and his return um, yeah. tomorrow. His flights have been getting canceled, mm -hmm. and so we're hoping, praying that he comes home on time with the yeah. rest of the team. Yes. And then, and then our thing. family from Israel. Yeah, we have lots of family and friends over there right now. Shay's dad and Mimi's over there. and Trying, get, yeah. Trying to get out. So, but we'll get yeah. into that later. Yeah. All right. Okay, Let's sing it. Ready? Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem Min HaAretz Amen. Amen. Father, thank you so much for your provision during mm -hmm. the season, that you give us everything we need for life yeah. and for godliness. So Lord, and I thank you um, that Yeshua was the bread of life, and we remember your sacrifice, mm -hmm. Yeshua, tonight, mm -hmm. and uh, we just thank you for all of these things in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> Just out of the oven. Oh yeah, this is hot. Ooh, mm -hmm. hot, hot, hot. Here. <clears throat> no, hold on. Mm, it's Here. so good. I think something about it's us like doing doing Shabbat right now. 
I just think about, not to jump ahead, but I just think about what our Jewish brothers and sisters were doing a week ago in mm -hmm. Israel. And I just think every time that we have an opportunity to celebrate Shabbat together, we really need to take that as just a blessing. And yeah, I don't want to start crying already, but it's just, it's such a special time that we have to not only welcome the presence of the Lord, but to really pause and just join together as a family or whoever, whoever you're with. And it's a blessing that we're able to do this. And we know that our brothers and sisters in Israel are doing this and our, our Jewish family all over the world are doing this exact same thing right now. And it's just such a sense of unity, especially right now with everything going on in Israel. Um, it's a, it's really special to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So normally we sing Shabbat Shalom. Do we, are we, yeah. are we, do you want to add the sure. song onto it too? Sure. So we're going to do Shabbat Shalom how we always do, but then we're going to add on a little Shalu Shalom Yerushalayim, which means pray for the peace of Jerusalem, which could not be more fitting. And right now, ready? Okay. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hey. Shabbat Shalom. Hey. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall live in peace. Shalom Shalom Yerushalayim. Shalom shalom Yerushalayim Shalom shalom Yerushalayim Shalom 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 Yerushalayim Amen. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. No time more than right now. So, I don't know. I feel like all of us, the Lord has been like, over this past week, it's just been like horrific mm -hmm. and devastating and gone through all of the emotions and still are going through all of those emotions. Um, but in the midst of that, I feel like God's been really speaking to us. Mm -hmm. And I know we've all had conversations. So I just wanted to take some time for us to share what the Lord's been showing us like throughout throughout this time. And I know you, you called me the other day and were telling me what what God was sharing with you about Shabbat, and I just thought that was so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I think one of the, uh, there's been a lot of horrific videos and photos, and the reason that I, I watch them, it's not because of the barbaricism of it all, but, you know, it's, I think it's important that we see how horrific it is so that we can pray guard mm -hmm. against our families against these things it's and now people are trying to say it never happened and it's all propaganda it's sick um those mm -hmm. those acts did happen and they were reported and videoed and I, I think it is important to show the world what um hamas did and what they stand for which is the complete annihilation of israel and let's you know I want, there's another thing i want to say too israel is not occupying gaza yeah. Gaza is its own place. Israel didn't want to be in there. Egypt didn't even want to be in there. It's its yeah. own. So there's no, Israel is occupying Gaza. That was their own place. They gave them the, the ocean views and everything. It was a chance at a state, really, wasn't it? Like a two-state, not a full two-state solution, but it was kind of like a test. Like, hey, yeah. this, is, this is your land. Yeah. You govern it. Right. Let's see if this peace thing can, so can work. So un unprovoked. Side. Yeah. Hamas came over the border and committed those horrific atrocities. To, I told someone it would be like the um, cartels coming from Mexico into the United mm -hmm. States and going through our communities and yeah. doing those horrific things. So what I wanted to share was one of the photos that really gripped me while I was kind of going down that road was one of the tables that was set up mm -hmm. was um, for Shabbat. They had chalot, they had two yeah, loaves that. of challah, 
and uh, there was blood all on the on the, on the it table. Was a family <laughs> family. And um, it, it just shows that the resolve of who we are, we, we're always going to celebrate and remember these times. Yep. And that um, yeah. photo brought it to a realization that the hatred for what we're representing, which mm -hmm. is the table of the Lord, yeah. was being <laughs> ravaged, destroyed, <laughs> killed. and But all throughout history, there are these stories that we mm -hmm. have in the Bible yeah. where the enemy tries to come in, mm -hmm. re literally remove us from the face of the earth. You have Haman yeah. um, with um, Esther and yeah. And that story where he was trying to wipe us all off the he face of the that. earth mm -hmm. and that didn't work out for him in fact yeah. what he set up to Hi. destroy us didn't mm -hmm. and we still celebrated who we were you know Bohim. Yeah. and then you had the the horrifics of the the holocaust but you still there too had um as best they could mm -hmm. celebrate yeah. shabbat and these elements that are that bring us to the table together. i remember mm -hmm. seeing like pictures of like in the ghettos like the jewish ghettos you still would see the candlesticks in the windows. Mm -hmm. And it was like, even though they're, you know, putting us in ghettos and they're, you know, they're still, we're still observing Shabbat. And even, I'm pretty sure like in the Anne Frank, like reading that as a kid, I remember yeah. her family talking about, they were celebrating it even in that captivity. So it's, mm -hmm. it's something that, it's just incredible that as a people over all these years, it really just speaks to the resolve. And I think God's hand when, you know, he promised Abraham that his, children be for generations to come mm -hmm. like we're not going to be wiped off the face of the earth that's not yeah. going to happen and yeah i i was can you pass my bible i want to i actually saw um rebets and candace uh from arizona right mm -hmm. she in arizona um and she shared this and i thought it was so good because at times like this you know we're so i mean i don't know about you but i'm so heavy i feel i just felt like this heaviness on me it's hard to sleep it's hard to eat it's just you feel so anxious, not only sorrow for what's happened, but like fear, I mean, all of the things, you know, and I know we are not supposed to fear and God's protection and all of those things, which I'm still claiming, but it's just hard to be okay in a time like this. And um, it's also, it's hard to like, sometimes even just get the strength to like worship because you're like, you think of worship as joyous and mm -hmm. you don't feel joyful, you know? Mm -hmm. And Candace posted, um, and she was talking about what happened in Second Chronicles 20 um, in the Bible. And I just want to read some verses and just quickly talk about it because I thought it was so pertinent to right now. And um, it's Jehoshaphat's prayer in the Valley of Bracha. So essentially, people were coming against Israel. Some came and reported to Jehoshaphat, who was the leader, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Aram, and are already in Hazon Tamar, and that's literally Syria and southern Israel, which Syria was just throwing rockets, southern Israel, that's where this all happened. Jehoshaphat was afraid, so he resolved to seek Adonai the Lord, and he proclaimed a fast throughout all of Judah. Judah assembled to seek help from Adonai. Indeed, they came from all of the cities of Judah to seek Adonai the Lord. And then I'm skipping ahead. Then in the midst of the congregation, the spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, son of Zechariah, and he said, Listen, all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat. Thus the Lord says to you, Do not be afraid or be dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. Amen. 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 I just have chills reading mm -hmm. that. It's so crazy. Tomorrow go down against them as they came up the ascent of Ziz. You will find them at the end of the valley in front of the wilderness of Jeruel. This is all around the Dead Sea. So basically he's saying, Go down there. They're all going to be coming up to fight you, but you will not fight this battle. Mm. Take your positions and stand and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid or be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out to face them and know the Lord is with you. Amen. So Jehoshaphat almost then bowed down with his face to the ground, and all of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord to worship the Lord. After consulting with the people, he appointed singers of the Lord to praise the splendor of his holiness as they went out before the army. So he sent out the singers, he sent out the worship before the army mm -hmm. saying, praise Adonai for his mercy endures forever. You know what's really powerful oh, about so that? Good. So Solomon built the temple. Yeah. 
but David created the worship team. Mm -hmm. So what was happening, when did the Lord say, whenever you've gone astray, don't forget to return to me, right? Yeah. So what he was doing was reestablishing what his, so Jehoshaphat was his great grandfather, yeah. King David, established in the praise and the worship, the Hodu, the Adonai, so the Hod, Kitov, Kile Alam, Chazdo, give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his yeah. mercy endures forever. That's the song that they would yeah. sing with all the minstrels yeah as they were processing so this is like we're going back to the original how it was supposed to be and that's what i feel like god is calling mm -hmm. sorry no you're good go ahead no no that's good say it uh, god <laughs> is calling israel back and we've mm -hmm. seen them divided over yeah. the courts and all that and they're coming back from all around the world mm -hmm. but they're coming back now from all over the world and what are the songs that they're singing as they're returning yeah Worsh they're worshiping they're re this is like a return yeah not only through our pain and through our suffering that mm -hmm. we're uh, coming back to the Lord, yeah. but I, I feel like the Lord is turning his face back yeah. to his people. Yeah, and I, what's... Yeah. I love that it's um, it's taking the focus off of your situation and yeah. just putting your whole focus on the Lord because you're mm -hmm. singing about his goodness. And as we focus on the Lord, it's like he does the battle for us. He mm -hmm. goes before us. Yeah, and I think it's like hard sometimes to know how to pray or to know what to pray or what to sing. And like you said, they were just worshiping the Lord. And what's so incredible is these people were sent out in front of the army. The worshipers were sent out in front of the army. And what happened to the enemies? They started fighting each other. And yeah. then when they were just a few of them left, they literally started fighting like the people on the same team. So it'd be like yeah. as if Syria and Jordan started fighting each other. And then when that was done, they just Syria started fighting themselves mm -hmm. and they eliminated themselves yeah. so that is honestly I've just been like this week praying for like miracles like that yeah. Yeah. for that when I think of the hostages I I'm literally I'm I'm picturing you know I saw a video today and I wish I didn't see it of um, some members of Hamas with, with the kids and yeah. they're kind of like yeah. playing with the kids they're using them as human yeah shields. and I was literally just praying I was like you know what Lord like change like miraculously change the hearts yeah. of those soldiers mm -hmm. holding those babies because they actually were were playing with them i'm like you have to there has to be a soul in there change their hearts miraculously so that they just get confused and want to set everyone free yeah. you know i'm like i'm believing mm -hmm. in miracles that god is going to do miracles do yep. during this that's time that's the most thing i'm most excited about is hearing the miracles that it's going to come from all this mm -hmm. we've, we've already heard a, whole, yeah, a bunch system. of them already yeah. but i'm excited for the all the other ones because you know god's going to get all the glory from this so 100%. i'm excited yeah. the survivor stories have already been coming out and it's mm -hmm. it's encouraging so we just want to encourage you you know if you're feeling heavy as we are if you're feeling like this to just worship and know that you're not just worshiping to get your mind off of what's going on but like your worship is accomplishing something your worship let it be the song that goes before the army let it set the stage for god to do miracles in your life as well you know this isn't this isn't just for for there but of course you know our attention is really focused on that um and our you know our jewish people all over the world as like anti-semitism is at a really high point right now yeah. and and pretty scary so yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what's horrific you know you watch the tv mm -hmm. and the uh the demonstrations that are mm -hmm. happening downtown New York in the major yeah. cities. And it's not like they're saying, hey, we're here peacefully. They're shouting out the things from their mic, boasting they're what, their, yeah. Yeah, what their belief is. I'm why aren't, why aren't we, we should be out even more so declaring the goodness of the Lord and what yeah. we believe in, which is a story of um, Yeshua of love, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but not yeah, anyway. yeah. <laughs> that's trying to be thing. careful where yeah. I... So um, I'm sure a lot of you watching, as we were, like, you know, you see everything going on and you want to help and get involved in what's going on in Israel. There are so many needs right now. And you were no. you were talking to... He's upstairs. <laughs> we're all spread um, out. You can't see Shiloh over here on the couch. Yeah, Shiloh's over here watching his iPad. <laughs> that's why it's so quiet. Do um, you want to... Talk to them about how they want to get involved. Yeah, we've had so many people reach out and say, hey, we want to get involved. We want to do something. We want to do our part and we want to stand with our brothers and our sisters over in Israel. And so we're asking you to join us, um, gather you know, the funds, and we want to put it to good use and to really show our support for our brothers and sisters in Israel through... Um, bulletproof vests which I, it's just kind of wild that we feel like we, that we have to spend funds on that for mm -hmm. it because it's such a big 
thing right now to save lives. And from all the soldiers from coming out of reserves, they don't mm -hmm. have all the gear. Yeah, they don't. Mm -hmm. And so, so they had so many people that reported for duty. Yeah. More than what they asked yeah. for are reporting for duty. That's like seventy amazing. seventy percent yeah. more than yeah. what they asked for. And then also yeah. too, just uh, we're asking. Uh, we've been we've, uh, we've been asked to bring or to purchase shoes and socks and toothbrushes and just things like everyday essentials that we mm -hmm. take for granted that we use. Um, but yeah. these, these are things that they really need and yeah. for food and water. So we have lots of uh, team members on the on the grounds and they're like, hey, we got our trucks, we got our vans ready. We just need the funds so mm -hmm. we can go gather all the supplies and they're gonna take to the front lines, which is amazing. And uh, Shay and I, we've been praying over what we're gonna do and you know, mm -hmm. we feel like God told us a thousand dollars is what we're gonna. You know, for us, that's a you know a little bit of a stretch. But and I challenge you guys, if there's anyone out there that could do a thousand, some might only be ten dollars or whatever, whatever the number is that mm -hmm. Lord puts on your heart. But please give generous towards this for Israel, for our friends and for our family. They need us now more than ever. Yes. Let our funds be the roar. Um, of, of roar from Zion, you know? yeah, the roar for, for Zion, yeah, for yeah. Zion, yeah. for Zion's sake, let it yeah. be our voice mm -hmm. to where we can't be over there, but here's the yeah. funds to do it and to you know, you know, so it's just like, you know, so it's where do they go to do that? Oh, go to wilburministries.com, your website, do donate, and please, uh, for Israel, put in the comment, Israel, yeah, make sure you uh, notate Israel. it. And so, because all the funds for that are going to Israel, yeah. and mm -hmm. so, but also too, I don't know if you want to share, like, um, this is also above and beyond. This isn't for. So we have many of you who support Shabbat in your home, which is a huge blessing mm -hmm. um, to so many people around the world uh, who don't have the funds to give, but they watch every single week we you just heard got from someone in germany, germany. Yeah, <laughs> i was gonna say so, that we was have, amazing hello if you're watching from, from, germany, from germany we love germany. having you it's so yeah. cool and it's from all around the world it's so yeah. amazing mm -hmm. um so we ask you to please continue to give your support for that yeah and we really want to build up our team for shabbat mm -hmm. in your home so we can do more um yeah you know week other weekly things and not just yeah. on shabbat so please, if you're giving for Shabbat in your home, continue to do that. We still really, really need your support yeah. uh, to do this. You know, for all the, the camera, the crews, and um, but yeah, yeah. But so if you're giving specifically for Israel, please put it uh, Israel in the comment yeah. in the memo. Or if you send it in, you can also send to our address on our website if you want to send a check. Yeah. Um, and just while we're on that note, you said the crew. I just want to especially thank Lance and Meredith. Yeah. Um, they are the ones who ask for productions. They film it. They help us every month. But tonight, this is really special. And they're essentially donating their time to be here because this was so close to their hearts. It was so much on their hearts. And I don't know why I'm getting emotional. But it just was really, they knew how special it was for us to do this. And they wanted to just help in any way that they could. So huge thank you to Lance and Meredith. We love you guys and we really couldn't do this without you. So mm -hmm. just so all of you know, we have our entire team that's yeah. here that's a part of this, truly believes in Shabbat in Your Home. Yeah. And Lance was with us when we first started Shabbat in Your Home, yeah, like two COVID. or three years ago during COVID. Yeah. He was the one that was literally helped us um, put this all together. So we just love them so much and you guys don't get to see them but you get to see their One of these work times so we'll switch the camera yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll force them to jump in front but it's also important yeah. that you know that when we're asking you to give like we also give personally yeah. like, sacrificially mm -hmm. we don't ask you to give something and then we yeah. just kind of sit back and like we're just a bypass we also give from yeah. our own home mm -hmm. i mean for me like i can't even sit still during everything i'm yeah. i'm praying i'm looking at where we're giving our funds and now we have everything. It took us a couple of days to yeah. make sure the um, outpost, but we know yeah. those concretely net right now. And then I've been going live to do broadcasts. I did one with Ron Cantor yesterday yeah. to do the best that we can to give updates. And look, friends, Israel, I have been sharing this for years that Israel is completely surrounded by the Iranian um, Contingents, they're Hamas, uh, Hezbollah, they've been there. Yeah. And so while it shouldn't be a surprise, it, it was an intelligence 
issue that happened mm -hmm. because they they saw that something was going on that was what happened but we have been sharing this on our channel yeah. for a very long time that this is happening and my my concern right now is that they're already in Europe and they're already in the United States and so we as the US is blessing Israel I have not seen have you ever seen I mean what we're doing militarily yeah. for, for them mm -hmm. I'm being mm -hmm. told by Israelis this is unheard of yeah not even in 1973 when they were almost wiped mm -hmm. off the face of the earth during yeah. that moment yeah, I got goosebumps when I saw the jets fly over the yeah the yeah. battleship and they're going to Israel yeah so I still get this Ooh. yeah so I'm praying that because mm -hmm. we as a nation are standing really strong uh, with Israel and I know some of the European nations are too that this is what God could use that mm -hmm. we're we as a people in the United States Jewish American believers rooting yeah. for our people in Israel that we're turning to the Lord believers in, in mm -hmm. Europe turning to the Lord that he's gonna turn towards us and that he's gonna mm -hmm. have a great deliverance for us Amen. in our yeah. nations in our homes and our communities as well and yeah, this is Amen. the best time to you to show the world how united Jew and Gentiles are yeah uh, this is the best time yeah. for us to really Get, you know, to lock our Arabs, our, Christians yeah, too. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, we're, all of us. We're all Jew and Gentile, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah. We had an Arab family at our house last night, mm -hmm. Egyptian, and it was just so beautiful mm -hmm. that uh, we're sitting across the table, we're crying, um, yeah. uh, also laughing. I won't stay there, but, um, <laughs> You're gonna start but, it, but it was a beautiful <laughs> picture because our mm -hmm. pain was their pain. Yeah. And that really meant a lot to me. Yeah. Well, I feel like we should pray for Israel right now. Mom, would you be okay in leading us in a prayer for Israel? Okay. And just everything going on? I know it's hard. I, I, yes. Father God, we thank you, Father God, that you are a mighty God. And we thank you, Father, that you watch over your word and you are performing it in Israel right. right now and you continue. So we pray your word. Yes. We pray yes. Psalm 91. Yes over all the soldiers, mm -hmm. over all yes, the leaders yes, of Israel, yes, over all the precious people in Israel, and over yes, all Lord. the um, Gentiles, the uh, over all the Arab Christians in mm -hmm. Israel, Lord. We pray Psalm 91, we pray your protection, Father God. We pray for your great aid and assistance yes. from the heavenlies. Yes, yes, Legions yes. of angels, yes, just as when Yeshua walked the earth at the end. He said, there's eight yes. legions yes. of angels yes. right here yes. to help yes. me. So we thank you, Lord, for those angels, legions yes. of angels, aid and assistance all around the borders of Israel and inside and Jerusalem, all throughout the land, mm -hmm. legions of angels. And Father God, we pray right now in the spirit, Lord God, that you reveal everything that is in hidden yes. in, in Yeshua's name. As in yes, 2 Lord. Kings, yes. you revealed what was being yes. spoken in the secret yes. dark places, yes, in the dark oh, chambers, yes, in the, Father God, you reveal, we pray that there's nothing hidden that it shall not be revealed right now. Show where all the hostages are. Show where all the ammunition and, and bombs and things are hidden, Father God. We pray you expose it now. Expose, expose. Nothing hidden that shall not be revealed. Reveal it all now. We pray um, all the enemies of Israel that they can't hide anything, Father God. It's by your mighty spirit. You do it. We thank you, Father. You you do it. Great aid and assistance, protection, angels surrounding all the soldiers, Lord. We pray you give every um, every uh, person in the in the military and in um, the high places and office and the government eyes to see the plans of the enemy. Go ahead and prepare the way, Father God. You are a mighty God, and this we know. We know that you are doing right now, Psalm 94, judgment. It's a time of judgment, judgment, judgment. And we thank you that Israel is the eye of, of the apple of your eye, mm -hmm. Father God. So we yes, thank God you, Father God. You. We thank you and we praise you for all that you're doing. Yes, we thank, thank you for the Lord. praise report. Yes. We pray comfort.
comfort, your comfort yes, comfort on all the people that are mourning, yes. all the loved ones, Father God. We pray your shalom, your yes, peace. Lord. Only you can pour out the comfort yes, that will minister to your people, Lord yes, God, Lord. because we know, Father God, we know. So we pray for your comfort yes, for you. all the people. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing. And so we thank you that as we worship you and praise you, our eyes are upon you. We are thanking you for what you are doing. You yes, are doing Lord. mighty things yes. in the land. And we thank you and we praise you and we give you the glory. Yes. Thank you for your protection. Yes. Thank yes. you for the blood of Yeshua that covers and protects and or, yes, already has been shed there yes, in the Lord. land. Much We make much of the blood of yes. Yeshua, the yes. power of the blood yes. of Yeshua. Yes. And we pray for many souls, many yes, souls, Father. souls, souls yes. to come into your Shosh, kingdom, Shosh, Father Shosh, God. Shosh. Even Arab souls, Jewish souls, we just pray yes, for many souls to come in. And we pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Yeshua, that you turn this horrific, horrible thing, you turn it around, you turn this horrible thing around for good, Lord God, for good, for good, for shalom, for peace to be upon Israel and upon the Jewish people and upon the Middle East. Only you can do it. We yes, thank you. We yes, make Lord. much of your power. Yes, you are mighty, yes, and we thank Lord. you, Father, in Yeshua's yes, name for all yes. that you're doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are bringing the counsels of the nations to nothing, of the enemies of Israel. Yes. You do it. Yes, you bring mm -hmm. the counsel yes. of the nations to nothing Amen. that are against yes. Israel. You are doing it. Thank you, Father, because you have a plan. And we thank you that the plan that you've always had in your heart, yes. your plans for Israel are being accomplished yes. in the mighty name Amen. of Yeshua. Yes. Your plans. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you, God, that no weapon formed against Amen. Israel will prosper. Amen. Nothing will prosper against the state of Israel, Lord, your supernatural protection. It doesn't say that weapons won't be launched, that they, that they won't land, but their intent, Lord, to wipe your people off of the earth, we know that, that that's not going to prosper, Lord. So we yes. just say that, we claim it. No weapon formed no against weapon, Israel, yes. against your people, will prosper in Thank the name you, of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. Cause confusion yes. to the enemies, the Lord. Campus. Cause confusion yes. to the enemies. All the enemies of yeah. Israel, confusion. Yeah. Yes. They can't work together. Yeah. All the different terrorist groups, yeah. all the men, enemies of Israel, yeah. all the different nations, confusion. Confusion yeah. in the camp, confusion on each of them yes. individually. Lord. Confusion, confusion. Yes. In the mighty yes. name of Yeshua. Thank you. Guide the steps right now of every single IDF soldier yes. that is on foot. We've been told they have entered yes. now on foot, I believe, in Gaza, Lord, and um, searching for hostages. So, Lord, guide their steps, yes. lead them yes. supernaturally yes. to where the people are, God, yes. and just, I just yes. pray that you will have a shield of protection yes. around them, a Fire. supernatural shield yes. that doesn't make yes. sense, Lord, but it makes sense to, to you, God. Yes. Yes, Your supernatural yes, protection yes, and guidance. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray, Father God, for each soldier, Father yes, God, that Lord. your angels surround yes, them. Yes, Lord. Lord yes. That you give your angels charge over yes, each one of yes, them to watch, yes. to guard them, and to protect them yes, in all their ways, in all yes, they're Lord. doing, in all their man maneuvers. Yes. We pray that every soldier has the mind of mm -hmm. Messiah in all things, Lord. Yes, Lord. That you Lord. give them. Uh, over their mind, your spirit His of wisdom, peace, revelation, yeah. understanding, yes, and knowledge yes, to see yes, supernaturally yes. where the enemy is hiding and plans mm -hmm. uh, of the enemy. See supernatural eyes to see and supernatural ears to hear, yes, to hear where the yes, children are, to yes, hear yes, where they're being hidden. Supernatural Lord, ears and to hear your voice yes, like Lord. never before, Lord. Nope, don't go this way. Don't go through yes, that door. Lord. Nope, don't go down that way. Yes, go this way. Go this way. Supernatural ears to hear your voice. Yes, go this way. No, don't open that door. Father God, we thank you for your great aid and assistance right now. In the name of Yeshua. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Lord. Well, why don't we just, as a final prayer, have you close with the ironic blessing? Okay. And I think, yeah. yeah. I, I want to also close by mm -hmm. calling every church leader. If mm. you lead a congregation, I believe that the eyes of the Father are looking for those who are going to stand with Israel. It's the biblically right thing to do. And I yeah. know we care about the innocent Arabs' lives. Absolutely. Yes. But the, the right thing to do right now is to stop procrastinating and putting it off. The church remained silent during the Holocaust, and I believe mm. that there was judgment for that. Mm -hmm. The Lord will bring judgment on those who remain silent when it's time to arise, to stand strong, and even mm. says yeah. um, uh, of Esther, yeah. if you, remain who silent. was a Jew, mm -hmm. remain mm -hmm. silent, it's not gonna go well for you, but I'm gonna raise somebody else up that will be a voice. Yeah. And who knows that you've been brought for the kingdom for such a time as yeah. this. So I am pleading with every church Amen. pastor, theologically, get out. There are people- Influencer, even? Pastor, <laughs> if you're a social media influencer, Pastor Greg Lowry has put one of the best reasons yeah. why the church needs to stand with Israel, and he's put it all over social media. Pastor Robert Morris of Gateway Church has also mm -hmm. done so. There are a few pastors that I can just say, I'm so proud of you for standing for righteousness. Not only that you are, but why. Yeah. Pastor Robert Stearns up in New York, he's posting a lot of good material. Friend, it's we have to come together as the body yeah. and stop right. being yeah. so divided. I don't want to see a pray for peace in the Middle East. The only way we're going to have peace is Yeshua coming to reign and rule. Right now is the time for God's justice to happen, yeah. yes. to remove Hamas, Hezbollah, um, terrorists the off yeah. the face the of the earth. The now is the time to remove yeah. the evil. And that's what God is bringing judgment on. And I hope that you are going to stand on the right side of history and say, when yes. Israel yes. needed me, I didn't keep my social media quiet. And I mm -hmm. stood for what was right. Yes. And the Lord will bless you yes. and your household for yes. that. Yes, it's time for the church, the ecclesia, to wake up, to awake and unite together in yeah. unity. It's time. Can it's I just say up. one more thing? Yeah. There's, there's a famous quote from a, a, a German in, uh, mm -hmm. during Nazi Germany. And, and it goes, I know I'm not saying it perfectly, but it was, they came for the Jews, but I remained silent because I wasn't Jewish. Then they uh, came for government officials, and I said, well, I'm not a government, so I'm going to keep silent. Yeah. And they literally go down the list, mm -hmm. and then they said, and then they came for me, and there was no one to speak out. Yeah. And so if you think that remaining silent is going to keep you mm -hmm. on the side of safety, it won't. Yeah. Because one day, the terrorists, they want to remove everybody. They believe yeah. that this is their call for life, yeah. jihad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And so with that, um, they call Israel the little Satan, and they call United States of America the big Satan. So yeah. They're out so they're coming for, for us right. too. All right. Well, let's let us let us roar with our voices and our nice. finances Amen. Mm -hmm. to make a difference and to show Israel that we are one with you. Yeah. We are yeah. there. Yeah. Well, friends, thank you for joining us on Instagram, Facebook, yeah. and uh, YouTube. We're going to mm -hmm. close out now to have our supper, our dinner yeah. with our, our family. But we just, listen, this uh, blessing isn't just something that we hope happens. Mm -hmm. We know mm -hmm. that yeah. you carry the very name of God upon yes. your life. And when you bear his name, you're also demonstrating what his character is. So yes. may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his very countenance upon you and give you his Peace. Yivarechecha Adonai veishmarecha, Yaer Adonai panivilecha vi chuneka, Isa Adonai panivilecha, Vesem lecha, Shalom, Beshem Yeshu, in the name of Jesus our Messiah, the Prince of all peace. Amen. God bless you all. Shabbat Shalom. We love you. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> I want to just eat. <laughs>